We are excited to introduce our second version in our fleet of miracles. This is a wrap truck that focuses on music therapy. We have two outstanding drivers, one that will drive the night fleet of miracles truck and one that will drive the swift fleet of miracles truck. As you know, raising money for children's hospitals, particularly the Children's Miracle Network, is near and dear to our heart. These trucks that we do are intended to raise awareness even more broadly than what we do and the influence that we make within our own company and with our own donations. On this music therapy wrap, you'll notice a couple of people that we consider to be celebrities. Felicia is one of them and her instructor Jess is the other. Felicia has unbelievable courage since receiving a heart transplant and now the rest of the world can be introduced to her as we drive these trucks down the road. It's a super big moment for music therapy. We are still trying to help educate the community about what it is that we do and all of the training we have and that we're not just people who come into a room with a guitar but rather we're trained clinicians who have spent over 1200 hours being trained to use music therapeutically. And so being able to see this truck, not only that the truck has two board certified music therapists who both work at Monroe Carroll, but also that we have patients who have actually benefited from our music therapy services at the hospital. We took elements from Monroe Carroll Junior Children's and we wanted to put it on the truck. We have some stars, we have circles. Those showcase what is inside of that hospital. So the grand staircase in Monroe Carroll Junior shows the stars and circles in a very welcoming lobby. We have butterflies that are displayed on there because inside this hospital there is a butterfly wall garden. I'm also very excited to honor Matt with this truck. He is a perfect example of what we look for in a driver and a person. Daniel's a mentor. Anytime he comes into the terminal or even at a truck stop or at a customer, he's the first one to help if somebody needs help. And when he comes in every morning, we run into him and see him. First thing he says, it's the best day of his life. And now he's got a new motto. I drive a miracle every day. That's right. <laughs> what an honor. What a privilege. I was so excited. And that excitement has just really grown now that I've seen the truck to represent the Children's Miracle Network. I've had similar experiences being inside the hospital. I was diagnosed with cancer about six years ago, and uh, that was a pretty hard thing to go through. Over the past six years, I've regressed, haven't been diagnosed with cancer again, and hopefully I'm going to be, you know, that survivor that lasts till the end. No children wants to have to live their life in a hospital being so young. And, you know, that's a, that's a really, really tough thing to go through as a child. You know, you should be outside playing, having fun, but they don't get to do any of that. So here is a place where children are welcome to try to play as much as they possibly can with whatever they're diagnosed with. And it's just a place that'll put you at ease. I hope it brings awareness to the Children's Miracle Network. It's a head turner for sure. If you see me, please stop by. I'd love to talk to you, tell you about it. It's just an honor to drive this truck all over the U.S.